teams are worse than the Republicans and the Democrats, the Hatfields and C McCoys. I like to refer to this game as football's version of Ali Frazier. Here we are, and who would have guessed the top rusher in week one of the NFL playoffs would be Marshawn Lynch, the man everyone had all but written off, showed that he has plenty left and plenty when it matters most. Say what you want, but the Seattle Seahawks have obtained lightning in a bottle and I believe they can knock off the Chicago Bears. Even though the Bears have a nasty defense, I just don't trust Jay Cutler. He'll spaz out, create turnovers, or something to put his team at a disadvantage. He has a pattern of doing this. Seahawks quarterback Matt Hasselback is playing premium ball on the other hand. The offense is clicking for Seattle, and I'm taking Seattle in a stunner. The Green Bay Packers go on the road in an attempt to be the second team since the Pittsburgh Steelers to win all wild card games on the road while en route to the Super Bowl. Facing a tough, physical, confident Atlanta Falcons football team, the Falcons are porous on defense and the Pack will take advantage of this. While I, while I also give the edge to the Packers defense, I mean, that group of linebackers and ends? Huh are severely underrated as a group. They, they work their blitzing schemes to perfection. Take the Packers over the Falcons. You heard it here first. Patriots and the Jets clearly don't like each other. In the professional realm, all you need is an edge, any edge. With all the smack, talk, smack talking and smack talking done by Jets coach Rex Ryan, his team better be ready to back it up against the high-powered Patriots. It's almost as if Ryan is falling into a Belichick trap. Smack talking seems to inspire this football team. Take the Patriots and Tom Brady. Yes, now the big game. Steelers-Ravens, the slobber knocker battle. Always physical and head-banging game between two teams that yield nothing to each other. These two teams are worse than the Republicans and the Democrats. The Hatfields and C McCoys. I like to refer to this game as football's version of Ali Frazier. I love watching these two football teams play against each other with two of the best safeties and defenses in the league. This should be a classic battle. I'm taking the Steelers and there you have it. Your OG NFL playoff locks on the OG Sports Show. Only for the OGs, only on the OG Sports Show. Holla.